Welcome to the WP4FH.com WordPress for Funeral Home Websites video tutorial series. Today's tutorial is on how to upload an obituary to your website. Let's get started. So this is the uh, username and password that you need to log in. And uh, what I'll do is I'll just copy the password. Uh, the username needs to be case sensitive. And then we'll paste in the password or type in the password and log in. And it brings you to your dashboard here. And um, there is a whole series of videos here underneath WP 101 for WordPress 101. And if you uh, have any, if you want to take a tour of the website, the administration panel, just work yourself through all these uh, all these videos. But today's demonstration is going to be strictly about adding an obituary notice to your website. So the first thing that we're going to do is go to add a new post. So we do this under the posts, and you can do that um, over here, add new. You can come up here and add new post. The first thing that we want to do once we're here is enter the person's name. Then we want to add the, uh, the obituary itself. So you said that you do that in Word, so we'll copy that. And um, this is very important. We want to then paste this in the text tab, not in the visual tab. Uh, what this will do is it'll strip out any of the code that uh, Microsoft Office puts in their documents so that your obituaries will look very consistent. Once we've pasted that in, we're going to go to visual and we'll just do a quick little bit of formatting. It all depends on how it was formatted in Word. This is just uh, my preference, but you can you can uh, do this any way you like. That wasn't part of the preference there. Um, you could even go as far as then even bolding these here. Now, if you only saw one row when you when you came here and not to this little um, switch here which they call the kitchen sink uh, shows and hides the second row of you know different formatting that you can do now if you don't have a photograph um, you're pretty well ready to post this we just need to make sure we click on obituaries under the categories that'll make sure that the obituary appears in the proper spot in your uh, in your website and then I would just click publish and it would be live uh, but what we're going to do is we are going to add a photograph. And how we do that is we scroll down here to Featured Image. And depending on uh, how this will show up, you'll either be in the Upload Files tab or you're going to be in the inside the Media Library. If you happen to be in the Media Library, we we'll want to go back here to Upload Files, click on Select File, and we're going to pick that file click open it will upload it uh, it's got a blue check mark and one thing we want to make sure is that the image is 150 wide by 200 tall that's the standard image and then we would click set featured image and then we're ready to publish the obit and it just takes a few seconds to do that and while we're waiting we'll just go to the home page here and you can see here that we've got uh, some obituaries already and what we'll do is we'll refresh this page and we'll see that the new obit will be right there there it is if we click on it 
we'll see that it's loaded, the picture's in the right place, and everything's great. Now, if, um, if you wanted to uh, backdate, maybe you're going to go through some of your older obituaries and add them, um, even back to, uh, to the summer where there are some already, already some obituaries there. Um, as you're kind of going backwards, just change the published date to whatever, I recommend whatever the date of death was. Don't worry about the time, just the automatic time is fine. But if it was... Um, January 14th of 2012, you would just make um, make those changes here. And then press OK and then update. And it would then be backdated. And really, that's it. That's how easy it is to use your uh, new website and to upload obituaries. If you wanted to add a video, um, which I highly recommend offering videos, uh, you would then just add in the uh, text spot here, and we've got tutorials on how to do this, but you could take the uh, YouTube link and just, um, just then paste it in the bottom here and hit update, and then the video would be embedded in the obituary. What that's going to do is it's going to give you um, almost twice as much traffic because people will come back to the video or to the obituary page to watch the video and also to it'll keep people on the page longer which is also good uh, for Google's eyes. The more engagement the better. The longer they're on the page the better. Um, but that's probably a bit more of an advanced strategy. Um, so Feel free to practice to upload some of these. You don't have to worry. Um, you can't really break things. So if we need to, if you've uploaded one and we need to take it down, that's not a problem. Uh, and again, remember to uh, check out the WP 101 and we'll actually have a listing of additional videos here for you, including this one that you're watching right now. So thanks a lot for your time. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. We're here to help. For more resources for your WordPress-powered funeral home website, visit www.wp4fh.com, WordPress for funeral home websites. And for premium funeral home websites, visit funeralfuturistwebsites.com. This is Robin Heppel.